Hey guys, welcome back to more Resident Evil for the PS4. This is the new one that just came out Tuesday. So we're gonna start looking around. I don't remember where to go. We killed that guy. He's dead for now. And then we do this long, ominous hallway. Got an arrow. Golden arrow. So this is obviously implying that we examine this arrow. Um, hmm. What do you suppose? Remove that shit. So we got like a gem puzzle, I guess. Gem. What do you. What do we know? Any zombies gonna attack me while I pick up this handgun magazine? Anyway, the, um, kind of just wanted to take a second to talk about. Okay, so that goes back somewhere where we know, I think. Just wanted to take a second to talk about survival horror games and where they went. They obviously went to the wrong path. Basically, all these survival horror games, even the the two big ones, the name, um, Silent Hill and Resident Evil 4, and Resident Evil, they all took a combat directed route which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing but it wasn't the greatest thing either because what made it survival horror I mean um, Silent Hill sort of had like the, where are you going dude fight me <laughs> I guess I should actually avoid this guy since he's quite easy to avoid and since he's over there because he walked like over like an idiot I think he's gonna take a full circle around this place, so I do have time to push this down, and we could collect this later because we don't need it. We don't need it right now. That is for an emblem piece, so we can get outside later. Where'd you go? Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna wait for you to kindly come over here. I'm not gonna try to do some jukes because I'm just gonna get my ass grabbed. And it's gonna be a bad time. So hopefully he's just gonna be an idiot and follow me through here. Oh, there's a door right here. No, we came off that door. Yeah, we did. We came through that door. Yeah, we did. The door... Oh, the door... Yeah, the door on the left actually takes us towards the... Um, is this door open? It's locked. I'm one with swords. It's a sword! Why do they have the sword now? That's kind of upsetting. But anyway, Star Isle Horror took a combat route. And I think that's what ruined it. For me, at least. And, like, once you can see everything, like, with the fixed cameras, it kind of has a sense of suspense, really, because you don't know what's over there. You just hear grum. I thought I heard, like, a grumble as soon as I said growling. You just hear growling and stuff coming off camera. And you're like, what the hell is going on? Where is this guy? And it kind of, like, freaks you out. Freaks you out a little bit. And as I just get star startled a little bit by the lightning. So where do we go, man? There is a key trap. Um, if you're what I think I went in there last time. There is a door. And there's, like, a... All you saw was, like, our... Uh, God, I can't talk right now. There's a knight with a shield. Um, that's just basically... There was a... Uh, that's shotgun shells. How many shotgun shells right now? Oh, okay. We, yeah, okay, we do have to go here. It was just... We need a fake key. Because if we take the real key, the trap goes off. And then we can't escape. Unless we put the real key back. So that was out of the question. So right now, we're going to go down here into the dungeon depths of hell. See, and basically, when we collect all these four masks, they will summon the red demons. That, sh yep, that will fall. The Book of Curses. Let me examine this. Go to the key. And we got the mansion key. Book of Curses. 
Yeah, four masks. An evil will awaken. Damn it. An evil will awaken. Basically saying the red dies and all zombies that you have previously killed will come back to life unless they are burned or disposed of with a headshot with and I mean headshot with a shotgun where it blows their cranium off. That kind of headshot. So now if we are if we want to be smart, you go back to the places that you're most likely going to go back to and burn the corpses. And you have a limited amount of kerosene to burn such corpses, so you kind of have to be sparing with it and make sure you know, okay, I'm going to come back through here. This is a well-traveled path throughout the game. I'm going to have to come back here eventually. Otherwise, you're going to have to get your ass beat and thrown around the room by a bunch of red zombies that are out for blood. So we're going to go back to the original hallway here. But I don't have to worry about that guy in the room that we killed back there because that's already blocked off. We don't have to worry about him. Smart thing to do. Ooh, that's different. I'm going to use that. Get these handgun bullets. Jill, can you help me out here? I hope these, like, don't break. I think there's handgun bullets on the other side. Now I'm afraid if I run past that other one, it's gonna break. I should reload. No, nah, it's nine. I should reload. Just to be safe. I don't know, I'm not gonna F with it, mean. So we're gonna come into here. This is where... Oh, An awkward close up. I think they did something here. I think they added a zombie in this room. Bathtub filled with shit. Yeah, they added a zombie here. I do have a survival. I thought I had a defense item. Oh, I do. I do. Okay. It's full of dirty water. I, for me. I wouldn't stick my hand in a dirty ass black bathtub that I can't even see the bottom of because of that. That's why, Jill. That's why you don't do it. Also, Jill has taken the time to stare at every single zombie that has attacked her. Why are you... Jill. Jill. Why are you vomiting, girl? You already did this, remember? <laughs> you already killed one. I already killed two, actually. And the first one you stabbed. No, the second one you stabbed. Yeah, you stabbed both of them, actually. So I don't know why you're vomiting now. I mean, you took the risk putting your hand into that bathtub. So... The perks of being Jill is um, you get to do this. You get to do you get to take the shotgun very early because of Barry saving you. If you were playing Chris, you would have to get the broken shotgun to place on the shotgun rack so the trap doesn't actually go off. Or you just gotta grab another survival knife, dagger. Sorry. And we're going to grab the big meaty shotgun. And I'm actually I ran out of inventory space, but there is an inventory place right around the corner. We're gonna pick up these ink ribbons too while we're here since we have a stack of them. We'd stack them on top of the other ones. So, my favorite line in this entire game is coming up right here. I hope they didn't change it with the GameCube version, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. Oh no, Jill, the roof's caving in. Now, are they gonna give me the option of running around aimlessly while we wait for Barry to save us? Yes! What an elaborate trap for just taking a shotgun. Barry, please. Barry, please. What if they changed it? Oh god. What did I oh do no, now? they didn't. <laughs> I was Whisker! getting 
Why did they reset it? That's getting really close. Jill, you in there? <laughs> Perry's just there. Get me out of here. The door's jammed. Stand back. Oh, that's kind of. Grab my hand. <sighs> that's kind of rude. Pharaoh's like, stand back. I'm going to kick this door down. In his usual Barry voice. Oh, I love the voice acting back then. It was so bad, it was great. Please give me the great line. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. Oh, that's... But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? That's not good. I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. That's not the same. That's not the same. What happened to that was too close? You were almost a Jill sandwich. And then she's like, you're right. Oh, I love that dialogue. We're going to go to the item room because we need to. And there's going to be a guy here because there always is. Hello. There you are, dude. Hey. 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 Quick turn. No, damn. Oh. <laughs> damn, I didn't want to use that. Is he dead now? You did. Yeah, you did. What? Oh, they're upstairs. I forgot. They don't. <laughs> they, um. You don't have to. The doors aren't doors, or the stairs aren't doors anymore. That's what I'm trying to I can't think of anything today. The doors aren't doors. That's what I was trying to say. Or the stairs aren't doors because you can actually just walk upstairs. We're going to put this away. We're going to put a green herb away. We're going to put the shotgun away from now, I believe. So we're going to keep the car. We're going to keep the knife because I want to use the knife to knife dead bodies or knife them while they're on the ground. So here we have the fuel canteen. We're going to have to get the lighter. If I remember correctly, the lighter is upstairs somewhere, and that is a very good... It's a very good recommend... I, it's a very good remember... Remember all. That they are upstairs. So, the lighter isn't in here. I was trying to pick up that thing on the ground. It looked like it was a note. They're telling you to burn the bodies. But the lighter is upstairs, I think, in the library room thing. So we're going to head right upstairs. I could use the shotgun now and attempt to blow some heads off, but I don't want to. Run, Jill, run. Shoot, Jill, shoot. That's some bullshit, man. You better be dead, dude. I put five slugs in you. I don't know if we can get headshots with the uh, pistol, to be honest. If anybody could tell me that I could, that'd be really helpful. But I don't think aiming up... I don't, I don't think aiming up while they're close does anything. Wait. Except for the shotgun. But I'll try. I'll look it. I'll Google it. Google's my friend. So we're gonna... We unlocked it. We're gonna be burning a lot of bodies right here in this area. Because this is a common place commonplace that we use a lot wooden mount that doesn't look like a mount it looks like a looks like it's something we can open sir it does there's paper attached on the inside I don't even know what to do that do with that so we're gonna head in here we're gonna head in here grab the lighter and end this episode I hope you guys are enjoying this Resident Evil for the PS4. Even though it's kind of just the GameCube. Morgan, there's more gun bullets. That is good.
That's a key. Dog whistle. Oh, dogs. We gotta go use the dog whistle to find something. That's what they're trying to tell me. But I'm pretty sure the lighter was in here. I don't like... Oh, there it is. It's right there. Hey. Damn it, Jill. <laughs> Alright, well, there's the lighter. I have, I'm gonna have to run around all the way back. But the basic... The basic policy is you get the lighter. You fill it up. And then you start burning bodies. And we're going to burn these two bodies right here in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, have a great day. Have a positive, well-enthused day. And peace. Baby, I, I, I